Demonstrations of deep learning inspire our creativity and help us understand where we're really at with deep learning, such as the strengths and weaknesses of these systems. Traditionally, sharing deep learning systems at large scale required serious software engineering skills. But there's a very exciting trend in overcoming bottlenecks to deployment and enabling easy sharing of deep learning models and applications at scale. One of the most exciting examples of this is Hugging Face Spaces. Traditionally, if you wanted to share models, you usually upload model weights and users would have to download the model weights and then integrate it into their own, say, web application or something like that to create a graphical user interface in order to demonstrate kind of the application endpoint of these deep learning models. Hugging Face Spaces, built on frameworks like Streamlit and Gradio, allow you to have instant web demos of these deep learning models that are built in Hugging Face. So for example, you can just click on any of these user uploaded applications, and then you can test out a new kind of inference for any of, the, any of these given uh, applications described in the title. We've seen an increasing trend in the accessibility and availability of deep learning, as well as the tools and data sets used to build deep learning systems. Data sets are particularly one of the most interesting things. Kaggle has uh, typically hosted these competitions and we've seen things like the UCI machine learning repository that gives uh, developers and researchers and students accessibility to these kind of data sets in order to build deep learning models. Kaggle's also added data sets where users can upload their own data sets as well as share notebook code to show what they're doing with these data sets. Hugging Face has also organized a lot of these data sets that can be easily accessed in the Hugging Face Python library or the other libraries by doing things like load data set, glue, trek, these different data sets are contained in these Hugging Face data sets. So there's an increasing trend towards the open accessibility and sharing of the tools used to build deep learning systems. Papers with Code is another example of a website that's organizing the tools that are used to build deep learning systems. We have the Papers with Data section that indexes the different data sets that are used in publications around deep learning. Papers with Code is also very famous for the state-of-the-art benchmark tracking. When a new paper is published, Papers with Code deploys natural language processing models to extract the new state-of-the-art performance results and all sorts of different uh, results that are communicated across all sorts of different benchmarks. Another very interesting uh, startup in this space is Mosaic ML. Mosaic ML has two products, the Composer and Explore, which are software tools, and they're also indexing the different algorithmic methods that are used to achieve efficient deep learning training. They similarly have this open accessible demo that organizes the different kinds of uh, algorithmic techniques that are used to achieve efficient deep learning. So to contextualize this, we're seeing a trend in more available data set sharing. And now recently, we're also seeing web demos that are plugging in the models that are built with these data sets. Streamlit and Gradio have been two great examples of tools that are building web interfaces easily that let you interface with these models. I really enjoyed this article on conversational chatbot using transformers and Streamlit from AI Brewery. This shows you how to embed your Hugging Face Transformers model into a chatbot interface by using the Streamlit interface. So at the end, you end up with this kind of web demo where you can talk to your chatbot and you need minimal kind of setup and skills in order to have some kind of web interface for your deep learning model. Gradio is another really exciting example of this that allows you to build these web apps without using too much HTML, CSS, and JavaScript kind of knowledge. So this has all come together in the Hugging Face Spaces interface. And Hugging Face Spaces is a very exciting platform where users are uploading what they're building with these data sets, as well as a web interface for you to explore these models, such as the Dolly Mini model, and all sorts of different exciting things that are being built with deep learning and these increasingly accessible data sets. This trend in the increasing accessibility of data sets, deep learning model weights, the methods used to train these models, and web interfaces to explore them has inspired what we're building at Weave8. Weave8 is a vector search engine. This utilizes the ability of deep learning to map objects into continuous vector embedding spaces. Then we can use nearest neighbor calculations between vectors, such as L2 or cosine distance between these vectors, in order to search through the vectors and return similar objects to a query. A typical approach is to publish the embeddings produced by deep learning models and share it as a data set, similar to how we looked at data set sharing on Kaggle, Hugging Face data sets, and these other ideas. Weave8 has taken these embeddings and put them into the Weave8 search engine and made the endpoints in the web interface freely accessible to anyone across the world. You can explore the power of the HNSW algorithm to facilitate searching through hundreds of millions or billions of these vectors. You can explore the neurosymbolic functionality of Weaviate, embedding data into knowledge graphs that further facilitate this kind of search with GraphQL interfaces. 
I'm very excited to share that wev 8 has added Wikipedia and Wikidata demonstrations to this web demo, and we're just getting started with adding datasets to this platform to enable everyone to understand the power of vector search engines. I'll be making more videos explaining the web interfaces for the Wikipedia and Wikidata search with wev 8 but in the meantime, please check out this article from Bob Van Light in Towards Data Science on semantic search through Wikipedia with wev 8 GraphQL, Sentence BERT, and BERT Q&A, semantic search through the complete Wikipedia with the wev 8 vector search engine. Bob's article describes how they built this, how they implemented this uh, wev 8 vector search engine, and made this web demo accessible, as well as all the different details in terms of importing data into the wev 8 vector search engine and adding the knowledge graph schema to it to enable this cross-reference search that enables you to not only take advantage of the embeddings produced by uh, say sentence BERT on Wikipedia or PyTorch Big Graph on the Wikidata graph embeddings, but also to use the symbolic annotation to search through this data. So please check out with this article. And with that said, I'm leaving you with the animation of performing GraphQL queries on the Wikipedia dataset with Weviate. Mm -hmm.